Hello and welcome to digi8.com. In this video, we are going to cover the topic on intellectual property. Now let's start with what is intellectual property. The classification of property called intellectual property deals with immaterial work related to the human intellect. These are the makings of the mind like inventions. They may include photos, symbols and names used in business, design and artistics and literary works. Some of the many types of intellectual properties are trade secrets, patents, trademarks and copyrights. The IP system focuses on promoting an environment where innovation and creativity can thrive. This is done by reaching the correct balance between the interest of the public and the innovator's interest. Moving on to intellectual property benefits. The intellectual property law aims to encourage the making of an extensive range of intellectual goods. In order to attain this, businesses and people are given property rights to the intellectual goods and information created by them for a limited amount of time by the law. The law gives monetary incentives for the creation. This is done to give people benefits from their intellectual goods and information. The ideas of businesses and people are also protected and their imitation is prevented. Innovations are expected to be encouraged through these economic incentives. This is in turn meant to aid the contribution towards the country's technological progress. That said, technological progress is dependent on the degree of protection provided to innovators. Moving on to types of intellectual property. Let's start with the first one, copyright. Creators' rights over the creative and literary works are referred to legally as copyright. Copyright covers various works like sculpture, music, films, books, technical drawings, databases, maps, computer programs, paintings, advertisements, etc. Information or ideas by themselves are not covered by copyright. Copyright only covers the medium through which they are expressed. Next, patents. The sole right provided for an invention is known as patent. Usually, the owner of a patent decides who can use invention and how. Technical information relating to the invention is made public by the patent owner in return for this right. This is done by publishing technicality specific information about the invention in the patent document. Next, trademarks. A trademark is a sign that can set services or products from a business apart from those of other businesses. The origin of trademark traces back to ancient times where a mark or signature was put up by artists on their goods. Brand logo is one such example. Next, industrial designs. Aesthetic or decorative parts of a product are what make up the industrial design. The design may either constitute two-dimensional attributes like color lines or patterns or three-dimensional attributes like the surface or form of a product. The three or two-dimensional patterns used to make an industrial commodity, handicraft or product can constitute industrial design. It enhances the goods values commercially and makes them look attractive. Next, geographical indications. For products that have a particular geographical origin and have an attribute, reputation or quality traceable to that location of origin, geographical indications are used. The most common geographical indication used are the names of locations of the origin of the products. Example, single malls from Scotland and cigars from Cuba. Next, trade secrets. Trade secrets are the intellectual property rights on classified information that can be licensed or sold. The unsanctioned using, acquiring or disclosing of this classified information in a way that does not abide by sincere commercial practices is considered a breach and unjust practice. Example, Coca-Cola trade secret is a formula for its soft drink. Formal protection by the government is not granted and companies must protect their trade secrets by themselves. And finally, plant varieties. The rights to utilize a new plant variety commercially are referred to as plant variety rights or plant breeders right. The plant variety must be unique and original. The valuation of the growing material of the plant variety is taken into consideration for the registration. And finally, let's look at some examples. Starting with the first example for patents. A patent for digital car keys was granted to Apple recently. In the patent provided, Apple has mentioned that the patent consists of a remote keyless system that transmits vehicle remote keyless system beacons. Vehicle ignition is enabled and doors are unlocked only after the key receives beacons and it provides key codes. In 2021, Apple exhibited entering into a BMW 5 Series vehicle, the first car to be launched with a keyless feature, without keys at the Worldwide Developers Conference. Apart from that, 61 patents were won by Apple, including fitness, tracking and design patents for Magic Keyboard, iPhone 12 and a mystery display stand. Next, example on trademark. In this case, McDonald's. Based on ruling by European regulators, the trademark Big Mac rights were lost by McDonald's to a fast food chain based in Ireland called Supermax in 2019. Supermax said now it can expand in the United Kingdom and Europe. It said it never had a product called Big Mac, but that McDonald's had used the similarity of the two names to block the Irish chain's expansion. 
According to the judgment that revoked McDonald's rights over the trademark, McDonald's failed to make genuine use of the trademark in span of five years preceding the registration. Supermax provide the details of the judgment writers. McDonald's and other European companies can use the term Big Mac following the ruling. And the final example on copyright. In this case, we have two examples. One case, it's on a photograph, a case between Rogers versus Koons. The original photograph taken by Rogers in 1985 and the one taken by Jeff Koons in 1988. And the other case between the Associated Press versus Ferry. Case was famous street artist Shepard Ferry created the Hope poster during the President Obama's first round of presidential election in 2008. In January 2009, the photograph on which Ferry allegedly based the design was revealed by Associated Press as one shot by AP freelancer Manny Garcia, with the AP demanding compensation for its use in Ferry's work. So that's it folks, this brings an end to the topic on intellectual property. These are some of the sources and links referred to for the content in the video. Thank you and see you in the next video.